So we uh, decided to Great drive paper. all the way across I town. Mean, there were some New Balances that were kind of tight, but uh, to a store called Bodega. It looks like a bodega on the outside, which is like a store that you can buy like necessities. However, it is actually a boutique, a retail store that has very expensive clothing. Um, so there were like a pair of pants in there for $600. Um, they also had a lot of sneakers. The sneakers were very much more reasonable. Um, but the clothing did not speak to me in a way that I would ever spend that much money. If I'm going to spend $500 on something, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Everybody gonna be stopping me every couple seconds. They're gonna be like, oh, what you got on one? This is the thing. I don't think people sometimes realize is that I, we enjoy meeting. Um, <laughs> He's running like I was. We really enjoy meeting fans, but we like to meet them on our on our terms. Not our sleepy, sleepy boy boys. Right, and so that we can give, and y'all know I don't call y'all fans, y'all family, so that I can give you the type of energy you deserve. But when I am tired um, and sore, I, I'm not able to give you the energy. And I don't want that. I don't want it. And I know some people are like, I'll take whatever energy you got at the time. I don't. Mm -mm. I do not want that. That chick Decorator by OPI. Sorry, it's still not focusing, but why would I do that when it's not even focused on my face? There we go. Why is this? Why am I struggling? <laughs> there we go. Um, so I'm headed back to the hotel uh, in my Uber. Hurry up, the show starts at eight. I'm going to hurry to my room, slap on some makeup. I'm gonna wear a different outfit than what I planned. I don't know how I feel about it, but I don't have a lot of time and I don't want the guys to be worried about me being late. So I'm going to quickly, cause I wanted to um, wax my upper lip, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. Um, I guess I could wear my black outfit. If it's not wrinkled, I don't mind wearing that today. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. And then I'm gonna head my butt downstairs uh, for the show. So anyways, um, hoping traffic does not act a fool and I can get there on time. So what's good, family? I am in Louisville, Kentucky, about to board the flight. This is what I love about Kentucky. You got in the airport, the bourbon tasting room, which is unfortunately closed because I have time to kill. And uh, I ain't got nothing else to do. There's a nice little barrel art. When you come over here, you have Distillery District Marketplace. And I need to eat, cause I ain't had breakfast. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all who this, I gotta get something while I'm here. Good old Kentucky, we got 
lemon flavored whiskey. We got all of these. Some of these you've probably heard of, some you probably haven't. Four Roses, that's a popular one here. Just all the many, many options. I love coming home. <laughs> the many many options we got all of these some of these I have some I don't Jim Bean Maker's Mark Maker's Mark 101 that's a good one hey 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 y'all see it in case y'all for in case y'all forgot it's more than whiskey I have their shirt on right now Uncle Nearest. See Jefferson. Hmm. Find that interesting too. I'll tell y'all here in a second. Yeah. All the many options. I actually know a lot of people, quite a few people affiliated with this one. I've had it. It's pretty good. Then of course, they got, as you know, one of my favorites, Basil Hayden. Seems to be pretty popular. Shells are empty. Basil Hayden Dark Rye. Had that this weekend. Um, and then I come over and I see Maker's Mark has some cigars. And they have they got some cigars, seasoned with Maker's Mark. I uh, think I'm gonna end up getting a cigar. I mean, why wouldn't I? And I'm hoping I remembered. I think they're in my bag. I'll check here in a minute. One of my friends got me a cigar. Uh, yeah. Grab this cigar, y'all. Gotta get something, right? Thanks for joining us. Welcome aboard, 5715. Going to Vegas. So what's good, family? So I flew Southwest because I got something I need to show y'all. Um, hopefully I don't forget. It's something in, at LAX in Terminal 1, 1 1.5, whichever terminal. Anyway, what I noticed in that store was and then off the Uncle Nearest was one of the only whiskeys that they had in there. Everything else was bourbon. Um, I know a lot of people gonna ask what's the difference between whiskey and bourbon. Basically, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey ain't bourbon. Um, but that was the only like straight whiskey that I saw in there, which was dope to see. I think it was one like one other. I never heard of them. But uh, so yeah, I'm off Southwest. <clears throat> I'm in that glorious exit row. Ain't got no seat in front of me. Get kicked back. Um, to me, it's better than first. I can't do this in first class. I mean, I would like to be on first class, but again, the convenience that I needed to show y'all, I wanted to get this on video uh, for the whole Southwest. I mean, but yeah, the Southwest tournament. So uh, anyway, I'll get back at y'all. Also, I know somebody gonna uh, see it. This is the same outfit that I traveled to Kentucky in. Um, it's my travel outfit. It's comfortable. It's convenient. It's light. <laughs> so, fam, what I wanted to show y'all is if you ever come over here to Terminal 1.5 LAX Terminal, you will see this big mural on the departure side. You will see this big mural. That's that mural right there. And wanted y'all to see this because it's a dope piece of art. But wait, what's that? What is that? Y'all don't see it? It's like 18 trillion names, I know. But it, it, it's something that stands out right about in this region. Y'all see it yet? Boom. Marcus Tanksley, all up on the mustache. Along with 15 trillion other people, 
but I'm on there, yeah. And that's my luggage just to give it so you saw, see how big it is. But yeah, y'all. I don't know how long they're going to keep it here. Hopefully it stays here for the remainder of the building being up. But that means a lot, the fact that they did that. I mean, it's a lot. Of, I see a lot of people that I work with, but that's me. Boom. All day, every day. So look around under his nose, near his mustache, if y'all ever in Southwest LAX Terminal 1.5. Absolutely. I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be on that. Put a lot of, a lot of stress, anxiety, and a whole bunch of other stuff went into building this, uh, building this terminal. But there it is. Should I get a picture of that right there? That's yeah, all right. I'm on the building, y'all. So I just experienced a Peloton ride for the first time. It was a very difficult exercise. Sweated a lot. Now I'm gonna do some core and every body, upper body workouts. Uh, I'm about Good job, Kevin. Good job. He's out here running. Um, <laughs> and messing up. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, good job. Good job. So. Uh, get some weights and rock it out. Guys, I'm tired. And even though we just ate, I'm hungry again. Um, I'm on my way down to our shooting room. We have extra room just to shoot. Um, here's the thing in. So, I'm about to shoot. Here's the thing, from 11 to 2, and then um, me and Goose are going to do another workout at 5. So there's some stuff I want to get done. Did I go the right way? There's some stuff I want to get done between those two points. But we'll see if that happens. Oh my gosh. Here's the thing. And there he is. Hello! Log alert. Okay, come on, lights. Man, I'm trying. What are these? What are these panels? Um, these are actually roll up lights. So they actually don't take up any space. They roll up and oh, they I see. Okay. pack into this thing. Um, I'll send you a link. Please. It's the first time I've used them. We were just, uh, me and Mark were on the phone talking about how we wanted to light up our office. Turn the song up so you don't get flagged. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Uh, we were just talking about how we wanted to, um, light up our office mm -hmm. and i was like i want to use get some led panels lights to put in each corner and we can flick on whichever one we need okay and these look great so we're in a fancy restaurant called del fresco's for lunch it's uh let me show y'all we're out here by the sea really really beautiful sorry my nose is running sorry y'all haven't seen that Look. Look how beautiful that is. That will be that will be our scenery for lunch. Okay, they left me. Let me find them. Oh no, they didn't. That'll be y'all ain't gonna be able to hear me. The music. I will talk to you all later. Dang it, I'll show you the food. You guys, look at how beautiful this is. This is the tuna tartare that is uh, covered in, um, god dang it, somebody's calling me, in Japanese with fish eggs, caviar. Oh, this is a, look at how good this was. And this is a prawn chip. I thought it was a chicharron. So it's a, so it's a chip made out of prawns. I know. Is that what that is? Yeah, 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 Spanish word. I can't wait to eat it. Well, I'll let y'all see me eat it. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'll, I'll uh, come back to the conversation in a second. That crunch in. Mm -hmm. That was big crunch. Mm. This tastes like generational wealth. It's so good. I'm meant to have this. 
so we are now entering into our main course. And I'll take some so you can put a little bit right there. Thank you. We're now entering into our main course. And we all got something different. But uh, thank you. Yes. The main. Um, first of all, this is called the VIP. This is a really good um, drink. Uh, it has a pineapple infused vodka and some other liqueur in it. It's really, really good. It's uh, got a sweetness to it, plus it packs a punch. I got the rack of lamb. This is the only red meat that I eat. So it is, it's probably a little more red than what oh, I took typically. Here, so you just set it in the middle of the table. You wanna just take that ramekin and put it over there? I'll or take, you I'll get, put you wanna set it right there? Right we there. got space, uh-huh. Just wanna... I'll scoot my plate uh -huh. over a little bit. There you go. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We've got a lobster, macaroni and cheese. They did a cream corn. Y'all know I don't be messing with corn. Uh, they got a tomahawk wagyu steak, I think. Mm -hmm. Overcooked. That they're sharing, but it's overcooked. Mm -hmm. To hear is not happy. So, I am, um, I am very Josh happy. got the ribeye. Gary, let's look at that asparagus right here. And that is, oh yes, you set that right there. And then yeah, the broccoli. Yep. I would like, and I'm gonna put it over it. here. Yeah, I would. No, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. Boom. Yeah. Okay. It is now, like medium well. now we See, got that's it. what this is supposed to. Be. That looks good. Oh, this is gonna take so long, but it's gonna take so long. Yeah. Chick Angel.